When you need to report child abuse is as soon as you suspect it. We want to hear any concerns. I think that the second there are suspicions, that child's life is worth more than being wrong. An investigator will contact you to gather the information of why you're concerned. As a reporter, you have the ability to give your name and, and information, and you also have the ability to report anonymously. You can expect to be asked as much information as you know. You don't have to have every piece of information that they're asking. Uh, please don't keep that from making a report. They're gonna try to get a picture of what has um, risen to the level for you to suspect abuse. Concerns of child abuse are investigated by Child Protective Services. Child Protective Services is a state agency that is charged with investigating any allegations of child abuse that occur. A child abuse investigation, at minimum, is going to involve a CPS investigator interviewing the child if they're verbal. So that will include often a visit to the home where they will have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the child to screen for all forms of abuse and really attempt to get a global look at that child's environment. Sometimes people assume that when CPS is involved in a case that that means children are going into foster care and it's just not an accurate interpretation of the work. So many interventions and so many options are considered before that. In the state of Texas, the reporter is anonymous. And so the professionals investigating the case cannot disclose who picked up the phone and made that report. When you report, you are protected, right? You can't be sued if you make the report in what's called good faith. If you have real concerns, you can never get in trouble for reporting. You are protected. It is Child Protective Services and law enforcement if needed. It's their job to decide if abuse happened or not. All we can do is let them know the concerns and then the investigation is gonna go from there. If you call it in and it's not abuse, then nothing happens. To me, that's the lesser of the evils than a child who is either killed or damaged for life. To report a case of child abuse, you simply need to pick up the phone. If you don't want to pick up the phone, you can simply go on the line. It may take an extra day or two if you do it that way. So if a child's going home and you're worried that there's risk of them being abused when they go home, call the number and then that will then be directed to the local agency. We need a report. We need someone to pick up the phone and report suspicions. That's the only way that professionals will have the opportunity to intervene on behalf of a child.